but today we're talking about perspectives as another key aspect of uh, becoming a systems thinker. This is principle number three. So uh, a systems approach begins when we first see the world through the eyes of another. And that's a quote from uh, Charles uh, Churchman, illustrating the need for us to be able to overcome our self-centered view of the world if we wish to become systems thinkers. And that we can never really understand a complex system until we get beyond our own limited perspective, our own kind of egocentric view of that system. Uh, we will be uh, caught in a paradigm, a worldview, uh, an understanding of a system in relation to ourselves as long as we are uh, uh, taking that perspective. As long as we're caught in one perspective, uh, we're very limited in seeing the system beyond ourselves. So it'll be a somewhat egocentric perspective of the system and systems thinking is really going to start. Understanding complexity, understanding complex systems really requires us to get beyond our own perspective and recognize um, the perspective of others so that we can start to build up different views of this system and actually get to an ecosystem view, which is a view of that system in some way independent from ourselves, that we're just one part of this larger complex adaptive system. And we only really get there by recognizing others in that perspective. So a great understanding of complex systems cannot be realized through gaining more expertise from one perspective, but can be only increased through the synthesis of multiple perspectives. That's how we gain insight. That's how we gain real understanding of systems as somewhat independent from ourselves. From including more aspects, we can move away from an ecosystem perspective to an ecosystem view of the world, where we're able to better understand ourselves as part of many complex adaptive systems. And this is uh, the graphic taken from the parable of the blind men and the elephant, where a, a group of blind men stumble upon an elephant in the, the jungle, and uh, each pulls upon one part of that elephant and um, conceives of it in a different way because they're experiencing a different part of it. The gentleman who pulls the trunk believes it's a, a snake, or the gentleman pulling the tail thinks it's some kind of a bush, and the man on top uh, thinks it's a carpet of some kind or, or a trunk for the leg. And uh, that's speaking to the idea that each have their limited perspectives. There's actually a broader system there that is the elephant. If they are ever to gain a shared understanding, um, a shared representation of reality from which they could um, gain consensus and start working together, they're going to have to get beyond their own perspectives. And it's quite often the world we find ourselves in, for example, the climate crisis, um, or the um, sustainability or environmental crisis, if you want to call it that, um, it's actually an interconnected kind of elephant system as a whole, the environment, the, the global ecosystem, where we chop it up into all these uh, different problems. We see our own perspective. Um, and what we're asking for here is uh, to move beyond our own perspective, to become systems thinkers, to understand the elephant, the system as a whole, it actually requires us to get beyond our own perspective, see from the perspective of others, build that up into a richer synthesis of insights into this uh, complex system we're dealing with. And it's another way of representing it. We can say it's also about getting beyond our ego uh, system view of the world where everything exists in relation to us. There's just one perspective on things and trying to gain this uh, broader perspective by stepping out, uh, broader insight by stepping out of our own um, mono-dimensional perspective and looking from other dimensions of the system to build up that more objective view of the system as a whole in some way independent from ourselves uh, and this ecosystem view of the world. <laughs>